Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Thanks for joining me. Today I have five projects under $5 each, and actually I believe the whole thing is under $5 total. I am starting with this very heavy metal cash box or whatever it is that I got on the good table at my dump for free. Someone dropped it probably because of this broken lock. So I am going to start cleaning it. Spray it with a Rust-Oleum Flat Black to start. And then I am going to pull out these transfers that I picked up on Amazon. They came with so many sheets. Now, this is the really, really, really sticky kind, and so it can pull up your paint at times, but I have found that with the spray paint, it doesn't tend to. I'm just rubbing that on with the stick and peeling it back, and you can see just how sticky it is. It doesn't leave a sticky residue. It's just really kind of strange. Um, and they are a little shiny. So um, once I get those all laid out and put the way that I want them, um, you can take a little bit of a sand block and you can kind of sand them to make them look a little more rustic if you want to take some of that shine down or you could um, spray them again with a clear matte finish to take some of that down or even wax over them if the shine bothers you. In my stash, I found a couple of those sticker butterflies that were from the dollar store and so I am just going to add them on here and then once I have that finished the way that I like it laid out then I am going to get my gold rubbin buff and I am going to have my husband help me put that lock in <laughs> and I am going to use the rubbin buff to try to make that a little bit more gold then I am going to add some all around the edges primarily of this black to have that pop and then I'm going to add some over that plastic handle to just pull this whole look all together. So here it is my trash to treasure number one and I think that it came out very lovely. I just absolutely adore the change from plain to beautiful and I love the fact that it was primarily free to me everything that I had in my stack. So make sure you have subscribed if you have not already because you are not going to want to miss the next several vet, um, videos that I have coming out. That takes me on to my second trash to treasure. Literally, I had an empty honey um, jar in my stash. I had this adorable little mold that I bought last year on Tamu, and I had not used it. So I wanted to go ahead and just pray, press into that mold some of the clay that I also got on Tamu. This is really good clay, I have to say. I really like it. I don't know the name of it. The sticker was covering it. And so I am just taking pieces and parts of that mold, and I am just using school glue here, and I am adding those what look like... Um, honey comb pieces um, here and there on the front of this jar and then there is also a little beehive and a couple of bees so I'm going to position those the way that I want them and get that stuck on once I have this the way that I want it, I took out just some plain old white chalk paint. I don't know what I did with the footage there, but I uh, painted the whole entire thing with two coats of that, drying it in between to make sure that everything was pretty well covered. And then once I have that dry, I am just taking a little goldish mustardy color, typical acrylic paint, and a little uh, makeup pouncer brush thing here this works good for stenciling and I am just taking this stencil that I've had in my stash for years um, of some honeycomb and I am just going over this with that out the fact that these are honeycomb and so once I did that here and there then I am going to put a little bit of yellow um, on this and then I am going to pull out some black out my antiquing wax and I am going to wax over uh, this entire thing to make this look a little more vintage, a little more grunge. Today's collaboration is a fall fling and the host is Farm Charm Chic and also Loli from Loli D's. 
Creations. So I want you to check out their channels. The link to their channels will be in my description box as well as a playlist for everyone else who has joined in to this five under five challenge. Actually, the first several of these are not exactly fall. <laughs> the last two will be much more fall. All right, so now I am going to go ahead. I have a black and clear wax mixture here. I'm getting some highlights of wax on that. And then I'm going to do a brown antiquing wax over it. And then I'm going to display it. So that is just to give you an idea of what you could do with a little honey jar if you have one left over. I know that uh, a lot of times we don't like to throw things away, so it is just something you could do as uh, a little teacher gift or just a little vignette if you do something with some honey or some bees. So that is taking me on to item number three. Now this one's very, very simple. I went to the dump this week and I got this filthy pot because I absolutely love the color, the shape, and it is um, just a really nicely made one. It's actually made in China. It's not a piece of iron stone, but it looks similar enough. So I thought that I would simply hold it in place and... Uh, after I cleaned it really, really good because it was very dirty, um, I am just going to hold it in place and I am going to ink up my stamp pad. This is one of the marmalade stamps that uh, the IOD, not traditional pots, I forget the name of it, but anyway... Um, I love these stamps and I very rarely use them and I wanted to just put a little bit of something on this and so I am just going to use a piece of tape, put that on the middle of it, ink it up, flip it over and tape that on there just to keep that still while I press that ink down on a rounded surface and then that is all I am going to do. So. Um, that will be it for this one. I think this looks absolutely perfect with the actual antique marmalade jars that I do have. I have six or eight of them in my collection and I love this larger one with it and I especially like it with the wooden utensils in it. So I think that will be a great addition for my hutch in my kitchen and certainly I can use that all seasons so I think that that will be just absolutely perfect for what it is and I can always turn it around and still use it on the other side if I don't want to see that stamp. Now also on the good table at the dump was this salad bowl and a plate that are in this gorgeous brownish transfer ware. And I think they are so beautiful. One has a chip in it, that plate, but oh, they're so pretty. And I did look them up and they are actually very valuable. It looks like they were made in the 1840s. So I will probably not do much <laughs> with them. Um, then I had this pretty pumpkin in my stash. I got a 90% off haul after fall last year at Hobby Lobby. And I think this pumpkin cost me like 40 cents. So um, it is is a little funky on the stem, so I'm just going to cut that away, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a fall tablescape on my dining room table with these two pieces um, of plates and cups, pottery, whatever it is that I got at the dump, and this pumpkin to just display these beautiful items for a fall tablescape. Admittedly, it is a little bit hard to get into the fall season, uh, considering today is August 1st for me as I am making this video. <laughs> um, but I know that that's just the way that it is with YouTube, so I have to uh, think ahead. So um, I hope that you are able to go into your stash if you have anything like this and just set up a tablescape for the upcoming season. I do love fall, um, and so I'm just trying to get myself into the fall season and while I was at the dump somebody had dropped about five bunt pans two of them looked brand new and then there were several that were older and rusty crusty this is one of the ones that looked brand new so all I did here was wash this really good and then I had this paint 
from the, I don't know if it's Lowe's or Home Depot. I think it's Home Depot um, in my area. They have these little samples for $5 and I had picked it up a couple years ago. And so I've used it uh, on a number of projects in the fall. So I wanted, it's a latex paint and I wanted to go ahead and just give this pumpkin two full coats of this color, letting it dry good in between. And then I know you've probably seen these sweet little pumpkins made out of the bunt pans, but I had not made one. And I thought since those bunt pans were free, I could not possibly pass this up. <laughs> so once this is completely dry, um, I go through my stash of things to try to figure out what I'm going to use for a stem. Um, and then before I decide on a stem, I want to put some antiquing wax. That orange is a little bit too orange for me and I do absolutely love the vintage look so I am going to wax this whole thing and wipe that back first and then once I have that done I'm going to go into that stash for stems. So to give you some ideas I have these little finials for some clocks um, I have some of these little leftover spindle pieces. I have a wonderful antique knob that would look wonderful. And I thought, man, you could cut one of these little rolling pins in half and you'd have two stems. So I kind of went through each and every one of them and I liked several pieces, but I decided that I was going to go ahead and use that um, cut up spindle. It has a flat bottom and it has the perfect shape top. So I'm just going to go ahead and antique wax that and let that dry a little bit and then I'm going to use some floral foam and I am just going to go ahead and um, hold that into place in the center of this um, so that it will one stay still and two give me a surface to continue on. So I'm taking some Spanish moss and I am going to go ahead and glue that on that and then I am going to take a couple of different pieces of twine and ribbon and I'm going to tie that onto the bottom of the pumpkin stem first and then I'm going to decorate around it. Certainly you could leave this as is. I added a little stray leaf that I had hanging around but I thought since I had the floral foam in there and I had these pretty florals left over probably from Tamu last year that are in a peachy orange color that they would be pretty to go ahead and add them into this um, and I'm not going to glue them because I can use them for another project in the future if I decide that I don't want them in this. But that is my more fall <laughs> item here. And I think that it looks really adorable with the other fall pieces that I made for my rustic video last week. If you didn't see that, make sure you check that out. And I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure that you comment. That helps my channel. And don't forget to check out the playlist and the hosts. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.